Welcome to the Checkered Floor Garage. This is the Kawasaki Vulcan 750 Maintenance and Service Series. And today I'm going to show you how to lube your upper splines here. Um, the splines attached to the output of your bevel gear housing. In a previous video, which I'll link in the description below, I showed you how to remove all this stuff back here and get to your splines of your drive shaft right down here by your final drive housing. These teeth, these splines of your drive shaft here, the male and the female parts, they um, travel in and out as your swing arm and as your rear tire is kind of going along the road when it bumps. So that's why it's really important to get some molly lube in here every 12,000 miles according to the service manual. However, I didn't show in that video the process for lubing these splines up here. Now these splines do not travel in and out. Um, these splines are located behind the U-joint. And in the past, ever since I've owned my Vulcan, I've just sprayed some white lithium grease in here. But I figured I might as well, since I'm here troubleshooting a shifting issue that I'm having, um, I figured I'd, I'd show you the process and also do it myself for the first time, how to get some molly lube in here as well. Before we get started, if you need help removing the stuff back here, follow my spline lube process video. For today, we're going to lube right in there behind that um, rubber boot. And we're going to do so, uh, I'm going to use some LB8012 by Loctite. It's 65% um, Molly Bendham. To allow for easy access to the splines behind this boot, I find it's helpful to remove this Vulcan 750 side cover. And then I'm going to pull back the boot and show you what those splines look like behind here. Pull this boot back to the left towards the front of the motorcycle. And then you want to take your drive shaft and pull it right towards the rear of the motorcycle. And you can see right there, I expose the uh, splines of your bevel gear housing, the output. Um, don't worry about pulling it out too far, like just what I did there. Uh, it's very easy to kind of slide back in. All you need to do is match up the teeth, and you can put it back in. So I'm just take it all the way out, and I'm going to apply a nice liberal coat of molly in those teeth right there. Here's what my splines look like, all coated up in molly. As you saw from the time lapse, I found better luck using a toothbrush, an old toothbrush, as opposed to that um, brush that comes with your molly container. All right, so I'm just going to put this back in all the way to the left, all the way to the front of the bike, just like that. Close up the boot. Next, make sure that this boot is all the way over the, um, the metal housing of your drive shaft. So just push it to the rear and make, make, make sure that uh, this, this lip kind of comes over. That way it just protects all the hard work that you did from the harsh elements. And that's all there is to it. Combine this with your drive shaft lube. That way you kind of get everything done at once. If you've never done this on your bike, um, I think you, you, you should be good with just kind of spraying it with white lithium grease, which like I said, is what I've done for the first three years of my ownership, 13,000 miles. I never really knew to kind of get in there and do it with the Molly. But the next time you do your drive shaft lube down here, it's literally just a couple extra steps to pull out that drive shaft and lube your splines up here. For the rest of the reassembly process, check out my spline lube video. It'll show you how to get back on your final drive here, aligned up with the teeth, the tire, all of your um, supporting arms here for the brake drum, the shocks, everything like that. Um, put your questions and comments down below, and thanks as always for watching. Have a good one.